What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. The most exciting video on our channel is this one right here. Our rehearsal to our wedding day. Any words? It's just so surreal. I don't want to cry yet, but I feel crazy. My whole family and his whole family, our friends are here and this is just crazy. I've been dreaming of this moment since I was a little girl and finally found the husband that I've always dreamed of. The one and only. So this is going to be crazy. This is really crazy. It's such a surreal oh, feeling, guys. I know we're not showing too much of the venue right now. You guys haven't really seen the full outside of it. But trust, you know, once we drop the wedding video, you guys are going to get drone shots of the whole wedding venue inside and out. We're saving it for that day, you feel me? But at least you guys get to get a little taste of what it's going to be like, what it's going to look like. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, this looks amazing. I have no words. Let's go say hi to your mom and I know we... Yeah, walking backwards is hard, huh? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted to edit it out. Look at your mama doing everything. Look at her. That's the, that's the lady behind all the work right there, guys. Look at this, guys. This is where it's happening. Valentina, will you take Jose Alejandro Lamas as your husband forever and ever and ever and ever and ever more? Yes. <gasps> Jose Alejandro Lamas, do you take Valentina Cañas as your wife forever and ever and ever more? Heck yes. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> we don't have to do it tomorrow anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Can I stop it? We're going to go ahead and get the guys' reactions now. They haven't seen the venue, not even in pictures. All right, so it's time for the boys to react to everything we just saw. Here it goes in three, two, one. Oh, we got the photo booth. Oh wait, this is nice. Come on, come this way, y'all. Follow me. Let me give y'all a detour of this. It's very nice. It's exquisite. I feel pristineness in the air. Let me come over to my constituents. Let's see what they think. I love it. I love the white. I love the aesthetic. You like the aesthetic? The light that comes in here. Mm -hmm. You see very angelic Holy Spirit welcome. Yes. Love is it give, it's giving heaven on earth, right? It's giving it's heaven giving, on earth. It's giving heaven, period. All right, guys. So our pastor that's marrying us just arrived. Hi. Hi. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah, sorry, guys. We got to run it as much time as we could. I know it's because You ready? You ready to see it? ready. This is it. This is where you where you're gonna be at. We already mm -hmm. cried too. Yeah, I cried. I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> My dad cried so much. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you're invading my privacy. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Olivia are just there. <laughs> Okay, perfect. 
Ok, Tina, le abrazo, Tina. No, 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 todavía no. Antes de llevarle a él, lo quiero abrazar okay. a él. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever. <risa> si él quiere. Si él quiere. Si él quiere. ¿Qué? <risa> Entonces, en el momento en que estamos tomando Santa Cena, ahí es donde vamos a tener un tiempo de adoración. Mientras ustedes están tomando Santa Cena, entonces vamos a tener un tiempo de adoración. Entonces yo le puedo pedir a las personas que se pongan de pie en ese momento. Es un momento de, de acción de gracias, de Thanksgiving. Y estamos reconociendo el sacrificio de Jesús en la cruz por nosotros. Once you guys speak your vows to each other, now is when we're going to do the rings. Y entonces lo voy a hacer que se repitan las siguientes palabras. Con este, with this ring, I marry you to unify my heart, my life, and making you a partaker of all that I own. Lo van a hacer uno a la vez. Y entonces, ahora es donde vamos a hacer la segunda oración. Con el manto, ¿verdad? Right? Exacto, okay. con el manto. Ustedes van a ponerle eso encima de ellos. ¿Ya? Entonces, primero la adoración. Hacia el final de la adoración, entonces le ponen eso, que es el momento en, en el que ellos van a orar. All right, guys. So rehearsal is pretty much over now. Tell them the plan. Now we're gonna go home and eat some food. Mr. and Mrs. Dama. Because my family is only speaks Spanish, all right? Bienvenidos, por favor, los celulares down. Este es un momento para mí especial. Para los que no me conocen, my name is Andrés Canas, de Valentina Fader. 90% de la gente que estamos aquí conocemos de Dios, sabemos quién es Él. Y yo me siento muy complacido de que sea así, de verdad que sí. Gracias, gracias a cada uno por su sacrificio, el tiempo, sacar vacaciones, días de permiso, eh, los muchachos que no hacen nada, welcome again. Eh, no, pero it's okay. It's okay, it's true, but it's okay. So, esto es un espacio libre, lo que queremos es decirles palabras, lo que salga del corazón en este momentico para Valentín y Valeria. No lo vamos a decir para Valentín y Valeria. En serio, este espacio es de ustedes, hija, I love you so much. Me, me lleno de felicidad, hija. Mañana no sé qué voy a decir, voy a decir muchas cosas. Pero bueno, hija, gózate todo este tiempo. Lo bueno es que nos vamos a gozar, gocémonos este yeah. tiempo porque como que el estrés es esto que salga. ¿no? no, lo que salió, salió. Espero que la gente que vaya, que son muchas personas, lleguen a sumar y no a restar. Así que los invito a que, nada, este espacio es de todos ustedes. Hija, I love you, hijo. I love you so much. Uf, ¿sí ves? Eh, sabes que te amo, papá. Sabes que, que eres mi hijo, que te adopté. Eh, ¿Cómo? Sí. Te quiero. Hace, hace mucho tiempo. Eh, hace mucho tiempo les quiero compartir. Sentados en esa mesa, los cuatro, mi esposa y yo, Valentina y Jacob, le dije a él que no era bienvenido a mi casa. Lo eché como un perro. Le dije, no quiero, no, o sea, no, no eres bien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿A Jacob? No eres bien. Jacob, 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 Lo siento, pero han herido mucho el corazón de mi hija y no quiero que tú seas uno más. Así que no eres bienvenido acá. Les quería contar eso porque yo ya le pedí perdón a él porque era normal. Había un padre herido, un padre que había sufrido mucho con sus hijas, con mi hija. Pero un día lo adopté con mi hijo y él sabe que lo amo. Lo, él sabe. Y te lo quiero reiterar un día más allá aquí delante de tus padres, de Obi que te amo papá, sabes que te amo, estoy muy orgulloso de ti y nada parcero, I love you, te llevas mi más grande tesoro, I love you. ¿Dónde está el Ok, nice, la mamá. ¿Qué hubo, mami? Eh, ayúdame. ¿Qué hubo, mami? Ver todo esto aquí en mi casa trae mucho alivio a mi corazón. Saber que están rodeados ustedes de un batallón de personas que el Señor ha puesto detrás de ustedes para apoyarlos, para levantarlos cuando ustedes se sientan caer. Nadie de los que estamos acá los vamos a dejar caer por nada del mundo. Siempre vamos a estar con ustedes en todo momento. A los dos les digo algo. Cuando tengan problemas, no pueden venir acá, no pueden ir donde la señora Denia. Los problemas se quedan en la casa, los solucionan en la casa y salen adelante desde allá. Los amo con mi corazón. Tú sabes cuánto te amo, hija. Hoy no me siento triste, me siento muy feliz de ver que las oraciones han sido contestadas 
desde lo más profundo de mi ser, porque le pedí siempre a Dios un hombre como Jacob, un hombre que fuera de verdad, primero que amara a Dios y luego que amara a ti. Y sé que ese amor va a ser un boom, va a explotar, ustedes van a dar testimonio siempre de lo que están haciendo. Y los amo con todo mi corazón. Jacob, tú sabes quién eres tú en esta casa, mi amor. Tú eres, tú sabes quién eres, tú no eres el esposo de mi hija, tú eres nuestro hijo. Y le doy gracias a Dios por regalarme ese hijo que tengo hoy. Amén. La hermanita, la hermanita. Estoy dormido. No importa, algo rápido dormir. No, no. You guys know I love you guys and I'm very proud of how much you guys have grown and I don't think it hit me until today. I'm a little sad, but because I'm losing my beautiful sister, but it's okay. I know you're going to be a beautiful couple and I know that you guys have great plans for your future and I hope that God continues to bless you guys. And yeah, I'm just proud of you guys and how much you've grown together and as individuals. So I love you guys and I'm ready for Hardy 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 tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Primero que todo, pues me voy a guardar todo lo mejor para mañana. Yeah. Oh. He trabajado muy duro por el, el discurso que, que voy a decir en frente de todo el mundo mañana. Estoy nervioso, pero lo voy a hacer. A través de Dios lo voy a lograr. Amén. Amén. Ya sabes que estoy muy feliz por lo que está pasando. Uh, primero, yo era bien penoso, entonces, o sea, como que casi no hablaba con Valentina porque o sea, me daba pena, ¿verdad? Ya conociéndola con los días, con el tiempo, o sea, es muy amable, muy chistosa, la quiero mucho. Es la esposa perfecta para mi hermano, lo digo de corazón. Oh. Me he encontrado la mejor persona para mi vida. Pues, I mean, I love you, Jacob. Uh, I'm 100% going to cry tomorrow, you know, I'm probably going to get emotional. <laughs> yeah, y pues, como dije, lo mejor para mañana. Lo ¡Eso! Okay, qué bien. Me siento muy contento, muy feliz de estar acá con esta familia. La palabra de Dios dice, de oídas te había conocido, mas ahora mis ojos te ven. ¿Por qué digo esto? Porque a toda esta familia, al equipo de trabajo de mi hijo, a Valentina, hay en persona así, pero ustedes los había conocido solamente por oídas y por videos, pero ahora los conozco personalmente y me doy cuenta que esta es una gran familia. Y bendigo a Dios por la familia en la que mi hijo ha caído, porque solo Dios puede hacerlo. Tengo mucho tiempo orando, pidiéndole a Dios para que esto sucediera. Igual que ella, yo le pedí a Dios una buena esposa para mi hijo. Ante todo que amara a Dios, como ahora lo amo yo, como ahora lo ama mi, mi hijo Recito, y como más adelante los que no conocen a Dios lo van a conocer, tal como nosotros ahora lo conocemos. Y, y me siento muy feliz, muy contento por ver a la familia que mi hijo ha caído. Amo a Valentina ahora mucho más, porque sé que es una hija de Dios. Y sé que como yo amo a mi hijo, también ustedes lo aman. Y me encanta el, el equipo en el que, el equipo de trabajo, estos muchachos que los he visto en video, y ahora it. los conozco en persona. <risa> sí, sí, <risa> sí. Es un buen equipo. Sí, sí, sí. No, sí. Me gusta no, mucho. Sentí un poquito de tristeza cuando me di cuenta que mi hijo se había separado del equipo de trabajo. Mm. Pero Dios es tan bueno que los ha vuelto a unir. ¿Verdad? Amén. Nada tiene que ver eh, este, una cosa con lo otro. Creo que más bien debemos de estar cerca de los que no conocen a Cristo para dar testimonio y palabra y que de esa misma manera se acerquen a Cristo. Amén. Decía él algo que me encantó mucho. El centro de todo esto tiene que ser nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amén. Hoy, mañana y siempre. ¿Verdad que sí? Amén. Y créanme de que Dios siempre tiene un motivo en todo y para todo, ¿verdad? Dice la palabra de Dios que a los que aman a Dios... Todas las cosas obran para bien. Y yo dije, por alguna razón yo voy a estar allí. ¿Y cuál es la razón para que mis ojos vieran personalmente lo que, lo que Dios ha hecho, lo que está haciendo y lo que va a hacer? ¿Verdad? Y me siento muy contento. 
Después de todo yo puedo irme tranquilo para mi casa, sabiendo yo que Él queda en buenas manos. Amén. ¿Verdad? Ante todo estamos en las manos de Dios. Y Él tiene que ser el centro de todo esto. Él y solamente Él. ¿Verdad? Yo solamente quería agradecerles a todos por esta gran familia. Porque son tan lindos todos. Y, y deseo lo mejor para todos ustedes. Son gracias, un buen equipo. Gracias. Y gracias por la oportunidad que me dieron de expresar. La verdad, este, yo voy a contar algo también como señor Andrés. Cuando Valentina llegó a mi casa, yo soy de las personas que veo y analizo a las personas primeramente. Este, él también había pasado por un proceso. Yo he respetado mucho las decisiones de mis hijos. Y yo la miré a ella. Y desde que yo la vi a ella, yo la vi por la ventana de mi casa. Cuando ella estaba afuera con mi hijo en su carro. Y él dijo que iba con una amiga, que iba a llevar una amiga. Entonces yo la vi y le hablé a una amiga que estaba conmigo ese día. Y le dije, ven, esa va a ser la futura esposa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo siempre he creído que lo que uno declara y lo ven, Dios lo concede. Y yo siempre he sido, no en las cosas de Dios estoy en este momento, Amen. pero es, siempre he tenido una comunión directa con Dios. Y Dios, durante todo mi camino, Él siempre ha estado conmigo. Mis hijos, gracias a Dios, y doy gracias a Dios cada día, ellos están en la mejor etapa en este momento. Conocen a Dios, siguen las cosas de Dios, los principios que yo inculqué en ellos desde pequeño. Yo sabía que esto iba a suceder. Yo amo a Valentina, le tengo un gran cariño. Es como otra hija para mí, una hija que yo decía por mucho tiempo, tiempo y no la tuve, Dios no me dio la oportunidad, y la tengo, piojito. tengo dos varones, ella, ella es inconsentida, <risa> siempre Deña, se identificó mucho con la piojito, pero eso ya es un asunto, pero yo sí pensé, y yo abrí las puertas a, a, a Valentina, él fue parte de, de eso, para nosotros él ha sido parte en la vida de mis hijos, y yo les deseo toda la felicidad del mundo y yo sé que así va a ser. Amén. Yo sé que este matrimonio va a ser para siempre. Amén. Amén. Yo tengo la fe y tengo la esperanza y tengo la convicción de que las cosas van a ser así. Amén. Así Amén. va a ser. Amén. Amén. Gracias. Porque yo eso sueño. Yo sé que tal vez llevo la vida muy apresurada, pero yo quiero verlos pronto. No, I love you. ¿Quieres decir algo? Solo que uh, es una pareja muy joven y necesitan todo el apoyo de nosotros. Amén. Igual que ella dijo, este, Valentina cuando llegó a la casa de nosotros, este, desde el primer momento nos cayó muy muy bien. Diferente a mi hermano que no quería conversar. <risa> Es, aunque a través de la distancia ¿no? uno no se comunica mucho, pero sí ese amor está ahí siempre. Como dijo la señora Alexandra, siempre tendrán el apoyo de nosotros. Y los queremos mucho y no podemos esperar para ver a los nietos. Sander. I met Van J. Cole like a year and a half ago, almost a year and a half ago. And I thought to myself when I first saw him, I was like, another pair of fake influencers, you know? Here you go. Facts. 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 Um, and I thought, like, you know, I don't believe in kill him with kindness, but they shut me up completely. You know, J. Cole gave me my first hug. Like, I'm not a hugger no, at all. We learned that. <laughs> yeah, he was the first, like, hug, hug that I actually closed in. And yeah, after that, it was completely different. Months passed by, he would FaceTime me, how do I cook this, how do I do that? <laughs> and we would have movie nights too, like randomly, like, hey, come over, let's watch this, let's watch that. It was just great. J. Cole and I became kind of like brothers in a way because I didn't grow up with my brother because he got his girl pregnant real quick. <laughs> he left out of the house and... <laughs> So yeah, me and Jacob kind of got really close. I opened up a lot. And Val too, Val's been there for times that I needed someone and she was there completely. She didn't judge me. She had her arms wide open, just like J. 
Chaco was, and I am forever grateful. I wrote something that I do not remember about. <laughs> get it, get it. We are here because there's two souls get out. decided that it was time to align their paths together and make it forever. A dream destination that has no finish line. From earth to heaven. And, you know, all I can say now is continue to walk the path of God. You two have everything you guys want if you guys continue walking that path. And yeah, if you guys want to continue being on the winning side, you already know which side that is. It's on God's side. Hi. Well, Xander! We gotta go because Bella doesn't feel good. Yes, so Bella! Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Better let me get one of them. Let me get one of them. I need one. Let me get one of them. Just put an emoji. Feel better, Bella. Bella. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bye. I'm gonna cry. 100%. Boom. Okay. So I wrote it down because then I'm gonna get nervous and forget. Okay. So, Jacob, I'll start with you. I remember the day that Valentina told me that she met you and that you wore wigs online. <laughs> and I told her for sure, let's go to Houston. But I bailed on the trip, sorry. <laughs> I knew you were special in Valentina's life the night she FaceTimed you and we all stayed talking about God. And your questions, your curiousness to know more about Him. In that conversation, God had told me you had a pastoral calling over your life. Walking with people, leading people, loving people. In that moment, I didn't say it because I knew God needed to work you through your process before. Your humility is so refreshing and not often common. It is beautiful to know that you are the man that marries my best friend. Thank you for staying up all night talking with us and hearing all my choco aventuras while I tell Valentina everything. You are an honorable man, not a perfect one, but a man after God's heart and that is not common to see. Valentina, first of all, I love you. I love who you are. I love your essence, your smile, your innocence. You're a walking, breathing miracle. If everyone knew you the way I had the honor to, I'd try my best to remind you how beautiful, how important, and how loved you are. But words will never explain how much I truly care and love you. Your hugs are the best and we always end up so crying. I can't stress how faithful God has been in those multiple car moments where we would cry our hearts out to design my upper room. <laughs> I'm thankful for your life, for all the heartache that led you to this moment. Becoming one with the man that God had for you, God has and always will be the foundation of our friendship. I believe in you. I root for you. I bend my knees for you. I love you more than words get up to say. And you know that you have a sister in me, always and forever. And that our friendship will always be based and founded upon Jesus. And you have me for Nascaseya. You call me at whatever time, and you know that I answer. At any moment, I'm there. I'm not perfect, and I'm human, and I fail. But you are my best friend, and I love you. And for you guys, as a Christian, I bless your marriage, your household, every opportunity, every endeavor that you guys take upon. And may the Lord be the center of it all, that your marriage evidently and boldly represents who Jesus is and how beautiful he is. Love that endures, love that is patient and kind, love that doesn't give up, love that stands the test of time. I pray blessings over your future children, over your generations, that your children see parents that love each other well, that love Jesus well, that you love God with everything and every fiber inside of you, that you both continue to please God as first and center. And I love you both so much, and I'm so honored and privileged to have a front row seat to your life to be able to be there, to listen, to hear, to laugh. It's an honor to call you my best friend, and by default call you my guy best friend. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and um, I love you. I love Aww. you so much. Oh, yeah. 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 Where's the next? Your brother? Santi! 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 Santi!
<laughs> if Hosey says something. <laughs> if Hosey says something, I'll say something. You want to do it together so it's like less awkward? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, Boom. if Spanglish. somebody would have told me Jake was getting married, I would have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Starting out with a bang. Boom. <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? God. What did he say? I've always looked up to him. Siempre es una persona que yo lo miro y lo admiro mucho, aunque no se lo diga mucho, pero lo admiro mucho. Y hasta José tampoco no lo dice, pero yo sé que él admira a Jacob mucho. Como dijo José, él ha cambiado mucho, pero por lo mejor ha este, cambiado su vida completamente. Se la dedicó a Dios y eso es algo increíble. Yo estoy nada más que orgulloso de ti, Jacob. De ti también va. Los dos han cambiado mucho. Cuando los conocí, no era muy diferente, pero ahora, happy couple. So. Ya pues, mucho Jacob. No, 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 Este, comenzamos esto de lo de los videos juntos. Me ayudó mucho él a estar yo donde estoy hoy. Y por eso siempre le doy las gracias. Even though you might not know it, bro. I'm here, standing here today, the person I am, because of you. Oh. 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 Let it out. La baby. Oh. 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 I'll always be here for you, bro. If you ever need anything from me and from Ozzy, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm here for you, bro. I'm here for you too, Bob. Like, literally anything. My house is always open. You have Houston, Texas. You have your parents there, and then you have your second parents there. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, bro. And I'm super happy for you. And, um, yeah, man, that's it. I love you, like, so much, man. I do love you, bro. Well, I don't even know where to start. I remember meeting Jayco when I first started my walk with God. I didn't really know like where to start, where to turn, who to listen to. And I just remember Jayco, like, I think you were like fasting then. And like, I, I never understood the concept or anything because I was kind of like, I'm gonna do everything else. God, you know we there, but a little bit later, but. Jacob was just my, like, he was like my North Star. I remember whenever I first decided to get close with God, I, um, I would call Jacob like every day. I would be like, so what does this mean? Or like, what video should I watch? And I just remember feeling so like alone and depressed. And I felt like I had no spiritual family that would help me and nourish me in a way to help me grow to the person that I am now. And I feel like Jacob was the first person that helped me properly introduce myself to God and helped me to allow myself to come as I am in a way. You guys are always open to me. Like you are open heart to me. You guys are always so nice to me. So I always wanted to like replay the favor. I remember whenever I couldn't find an apartment and I was stressed and I was worried. And I remember Jacob and Val, they opened up their house to me. And it just shows the character in the both of you guys. I'm gonna start with Jacob first. Don't worry, Val. <laughs> but Jacob, I feel like he's the most like his hospitality. Like, how do you just let somebody just live with you for that long? See, I don't know how he did it, but I just think that like your heart shows more than you think. I know you may feel like you can't. That your emotions are not expressed the way that traditionally, but I feel like it shows how loving, how kind, and how caring you are. I feel like even if you are going through a bad day, like you know how to like, you know, you have control over your tongue. I don't think you've ever really said anything to me crazy. I just really respect you as a person. And then Val, like, you just my dog, bro. <laughs> I got you. And even when Val is going through anything, if it's anything that she's dealing with, I always try my hardest to speak life into her. I want to help her. I want to help. I always say to myself, like, anytime I'm around you, Val, I always want to build confidence in you. I want to help you because anytime you're going through something, it just breaks my heart. Like, I don't know. I just love you so much. And I think 
I think you guys are amazing friends. So in any way that I can, I will always try to help you guys. And if I could do anything for you guys, just let me know. And yeah, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I had the best speech, period. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Got your nail! Boom! Got you, bro. <laughs> Way Got your nail! Way to die! I get very emotional because we love you guys a lot. I love you guys and I want to thank y'all for making me part of y'all's wedding. I feel really honored and I think it's something really special. And um... Finish the speech! Finish the speech! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know whenever I met you, we didn't, like, we never really, like, clicked, bro. And I haven't really, like, had too much time to, like, you know, bond with you. But I always felt like you were like a brother to me, bro. And I always felt like I can go to you and tell you anything, you know, anything that I'm going through. At times, I think about changing my ways, but I think it's a little too early. You know? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too early for me, but... Um, uh, and Valentina, I'm really happy that you're going to be Jayco's wife. You guys are the perfect match, and um, I don't got much to say because, I don't know, we haven't... I feel like the only times we've really hung out is whenever I've had a girlfriend. Yeah. And you guys have been fun, you know? Yeah. We've gone on like double days to like eat and um, not drink, but eat, you know? And uh, yeah, you've always been somebody, you know, who I feel like I'm, you're easy to talk with and I love you so much. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Jaco, you have been a big impact into Valentina's life. The moment that Valentina told me about you, the day that you guys met, I couldn't believe it. I was just thinking, nah, maybe, you know, it's not gonna be it, like, who knows. But then she started talking more and more about you, and I was like, I have faith that it's gonna be. Y yo me recuerdo que yo tenía fe en la relación. Y hay testigos porque la mamá me dijo, yo no creo que va a pasar. Y yo le dije, te fe en él, porque yo lo tengo en él. ¿Escuchó? Y yo le dije, nosotros lloramos porque nosotros queremos a Valentina tanto por todo lo que haya pasado. Y yo la quiero mucho porque... I know everything that you've been through. Yeah. And you didn't deserve that. And now God put you with somebody that loves you, cares for you, and doesn't want any bad thing for you. He just wants to put God in the center of your relationship. And that's what you deserve. And <laughs> Jacob, you have been there for me like a brother. You and Valentina have oh, put me there? closer to God than I have ever been. And I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> Because I am who I am now because of you guys. You have shown me such a beautiful family, Andres, Alexandra, Valeria. Ustedes son muy especiales para mí. Especially you. You're so beautiful. You're so smart. You make the room light, even when it's so sad and dark. You know how to light it up. And I know everything that you've been through, and I know God is going to make you better. And you're going to get through it with Him by your side. But most importantly, was God first. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Jesse. <laughs> My besties. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> For those I don't know, I met Valentina when I was we were in middle school and we went on a, a church retreat because our churches were like combined and so we met through there. And I feel like we were both kind of just struggling with our faith at that point. I was going through a lot, and I think so were you, I don't know, but that's when we became very close, and it's just crazy to see how much like Vale has grown since then, and I feel like you've aided so much in, in the things that she's has experienced in her life, and um, I'm just really grateful that you have appeared in her life and just 
is, is literally a God-given relationship and I couldn't be more happy for you and for both of you. Jaco, you have like amazing qualities as a person. I love how you're able to calm Valentina down and on top of all of that, you put God first and center of your relationship and I think that there's nothing more that Vale could have in a person. You are the perfect person for her so I'm so excited. Like this is a relationship that I know is going to be a forever thing and it's, it's really exciting to witness. So I love you guys. Aww. I'm super happy and proud of you guys. You guys have grown so much. You have grown so much. And yeah, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Lily's a crier. I am a crier. So I've just been so blessed and privileged to be a, like accepted as a part of this family. They really took me in when I needed it and I had surgery and my parents were away and they really just made me feel like part of their family. And I've just been so blessed to be able to know and grow both Valentina and Valeria and their parents in, in such a God-given way that's like unexplainable and uh, we met when we were probably about like nine, nine or ten. We danced at the same studio all throughout middle school and high school. We went to the same like the same high school, we went to the same studio outside of high school, we were on the same dance team so me and her were literally like this, like we could not get away from each other anywhere we went. Um, but it's been just such a beautiful thing to get to know you and I feel like the reason why I get so emotional at times seeing you guys is because I've seen you at some difficult times and I remember like being in dance practice and our teacher would like you if you ran out of the room this person would just be like all right Leah go go get her go get her and I'd be like all right like let's go pipe up Valentina right now and just Seeing you grow from that and just seeing the person that you've become has just been such a blessing. And just seeing the way that God can move miracles, you are a light. And I think that you are just such a, a reflection of God's way that He can heal, He can reflect, He can bless. And it's just been so beautiful in this journey with you. And as I said again, and I know that you know your friends can probably agree, is that you have just such a shining light that wherever you go, it just never dims and it's just so amazing to see that someone also sees that as well because i know for a while that you may not have seen that and it's just been such a great thing to see him admire you in ways that we do and i've grown to know you both spiritually prophetically in just so many ways that i can't explain <laughs> and i've been able to see your relationship grow and i think just that in itself has just been a blessing for my eyes because I'm seeing everything come to pass. And I think that's what's so emotional because I remember us so young, being in dance rehearsal, crying our eyes out over something so random. And now it's like, you're getting married to the man of your dreams. And this is someone that you've been praying for, someone that you deserve. And it's just so amazing to be able to see you receive that. And I declare healing, just everything over your relationship, over your life individually, and Jake will get to you soon, but uh, just over Valentina, I declare, you know, healing, I declare transparency, I just declare blessings and nothing but that over you and your marriage. And Jacob, I remember the first time she told me about you, it was just like, I was praying in my head and I was just like, Lord, please let her realize, like, this is the godly relationship she's been asking for. And after seeing your videos, seeing the way that you guys are on social media, I was like, this is the one. Because honestly, Valentina has, like, such off, like such funny humor. Like, she's honestly an oddball. And it's, like, so amazing to, like, be in her presence. And I felt like you were finally someone that matched that energy. You were finally someone that that made her feel comfortable enough to make goofy faces, make goofy dances, be herself. And it's just been like so amazing to be able to see her open that side of her heart, her life to someone that she loves. That's not just us. And I just pray prosperity over you guys. I pray blessings. I pray healthy children. I just pray so much over you guys. And I will continue to do that both in private and in public. And Jaco, I see so much coming for you spiritually, and I pray that you just receive that and that you just continue to pour out yourself into others. I love praying with you, and I think that there's something so powerful in being able to pray for other people with you. And I pray that you are able to do that as like alongside Valentina and pray over your friends, people who may not know Jesus, your children, your future, everything. That's all I have to say. 
Um, it's just been such a blessing to see you guys grow, and I just wish you guys the most prosperous and wonderful marriage. And yeah, I love you guys. Aww. It's not fair that she plays pretty. I'm gonna make ours quick because I know you guys have heard a lot of speeches, but uh, I feel in my heart just to say, uh, Senor Andres and Alexandra, and you know, just Jaco's parents. I know uh, all this is an, is an answered prayer for you guys. I've heard a lot about your guys' parents and getting to meet them and just hearing how much everyone here loves God. And to see how, you know, I think this is a, a testimony that prayer works. Everyone has said it, but God is in the center of all this. So I, I just felt to say that. But Jaco and Val, I love you guys so much. Everyone has talked about how amazing you guys are. But behind the scenes, as much as, you know, whatever we've done in your life, you guys have done so much in my life too. And you guys know everything you've done for me, so thank you so much. God touched his life and Jaco's on fire, you know. So I've gotten to uh, see that and be a part of that. And truly honored to be in your wedding. I told him from day one that he needs to marry Val. <laughs> so yeah. just letting everyone know, like, I already knew, like, that's your wife. I said yeah. that from the first day. I told Olivia, like, they're meant to be together. So, you know, I just, what God joins together, no man can separate. And I know God brought you guys together. We love you guys. Yeah. So honored to be a part of your wedding. And thank you for everything. And thanks to everybody for letting us be here. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Olivia! Um, well, you both know I love you so much, and um, all I can think about when everybody's sharing is you two both are such a bright light, and I see how much of an impact you have on so many people. Jaco, you have such a passionate personality, and Valentina, you love, like, unconditionally. We just love you so much, and we're so grateful to be in your life. And we're so honored to be able to see you guys come together. We're just so grateful and we love you guys so much. So, Jaco, I've been knowing you for a year now, a year and a half. Y'all are just so full of life. Like, Y'all are so humble. I remember the first day that we went over to your place. Y'all right away told us, it's because we were staying at Palm Springs and y'all were like, oh, y'all can stay in our place. I'm like, wait, what? I just knew you just barely today. <laughs> like, yeah. like that's, so how, that, that's how genuine and loving y'all yeah. are. And God makes no mistakes, bro. Like, that's what I'm going to tell you from like right now, bro. And in Spanish, it's, se dice, el yugo es igual. Like, y'all are becoming one. Y'all are one. And, bro, you just continue to just need to push forward, bro with the stuff of, of God, con la cosa de Dios, bro, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you my Spanglish, cause I don't even know which language is good for me right now, cause I'm nervous. Pero, uh, síguele para adelante, you know, Dios está contigo. Tú eres un ejemplo para todos nosotros, para tus amigos, para tu familia, hasta para mí, you know? Like, I've been walking in my walk with Christ for, for years. But like, the spark that you have, the fire in you, bro, like, I could, I could sense, I could feel it, bro, that you're just waiting for that right moment to just blow up, like, in a good way, you know? And, uh, que Dios te bendiga tu vida, bro. A ti, y a Valentina. I know y'all gonna be nothing but a blessful couple. I know I just knew you for a little bit, bro, but, my bad, my bad, my bad. I know it's crazy, me, just, He rarely opens up to people, to friends. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's actually really special for him, too. Yeah, and, you know, I'm just, I'm very happy from the bottom of my heart, you know? that you're getting married with your beautiful wife and just never continue to go forward and never look back bro you have god with you nothing can stop you nothing can come against you bro so just you know keep going forward bro and i just want to add ever since the first time i entered into your home you welcomed us right and i could right away feel god's presence god's peace so right there i knew these people are you know prayer warriors so I was like, this feels really, I, I remember I told you, I was like, wow, this place feels really peaceful. I pray for God's favor to be over your marriage. Like your mom said, whenever you have arguments, fix it at home. You don't have to tell anyone else. And also, obviously, never ever sleep mad and never sleep in separate beds, even if you're mad. I pray that God blesses your marriage until death do, do you all part. Valentina, ahora sí. Sí, sí, Pastor Junior, baby. Yeah. Bro. Oh my gosh. 
Bueno, yo también, como Ray, quiero guardar para mañana. Ok, lo mismo. Eh, <laughs> pero si quiero pues, compartirles, porque more than just feeling honored to be here, I am honored. And to be a part of what God is doing in your lives. And uh, I remember, me acuerdo, hablando con Andrés, un par de años atrás, con lágrimas en sus ojos, desesperado por lo que estaban viviendo. Y ver hoy todo lo que el Señor está haciendo en este hogar y ahora lo nuevo que está haciendo en sus vidas es simplemente evidencia que Dios está en el asunto. Y no solamente porque te cases en una iglesia quiere decir que Dios está en el matrimonio, pero yo veo a Dios completamente involucrado en todo lo que está pasando. And uh, just to hear your friends that know you from your past, that's the part that like, My, when they started talking, like my eyes just opened up. That's when you see God in your life. When you can look back and you can look at your present and you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you different from the rest of the world. That's what makes you a true disciple. Somebody who carries the message is somebody that has experienced the message, not just an information. So that's what I see in both of you. Nada, estamos contentos y de poder estar aquí, yo sé que esto nos va a unir, vamos a ser familia you know, y van a poder contar con nosotros para lo que necesiten. Los amamos y de verdad que es súper contento. Gracias, papá. First thing that came to mind was, I remember when, well, I've known you for much longer, rough first years for you, right? So when you told me that you had a new boyfriend, I was like, oh no, oh my God, she has a new boyfriend. Okay, tell me about him. You know, and then the moment that I saw and I heard, and I was like, okay, this is different. You know, you have never made him a part of your other life, right? Your walk with God, because it wasn't, real to that point in the same way. I just think of one thing about both of you is that you bring the best out of each other. You know, I am so proud of you, Jaco, that you're leading this thing, you know? From one conversation with Junior, you, that the Lord spoke to you, you left that meeting and made decisions, you know, for your, for your, for your life, for your future marriage, and that is so admirable. We are celebrating from today. The fact that you guys are about to become one and that and that God and Jesus is the, the center of your marriage. And I'm just so happy and I'm just so proud of you. Guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. I was going to catch it. Man, yeah, bro, I was, I was crying like a monster. I was crying. Just Al frente, tío. Ah, el guapo de los dos. Ah, ya está. Ya lo miré. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. hola, hola. Defiéndase. Sáquela de la casa. Como saben, él es el mayor, ¿no? No, yo. Sinceramente, y esto es de corazón, les digo, a los dos no los conozco mucho. Me une una relación de, pa de parentesco por Valentina, pero no ha sido mucho el tiempo que hemos compartido. Igual con Jacob no he, no he compartido mucho, son apenas un par de momentos que hemos compartido, pero sí hemos compartido algo y de esto sí quiero hablarles. Hace alrededor de 17 años conocí al Señor Jesucristo en condiciones eh, que así las permite el Señor y el mensaje del Señor llegó hasta casa gracias a mí. Y no es que uno se sienta orgulloso, pero la palabra del Señor lo dice Pablo, eh, ustedes pueden tener muchos maestros, pero yo traje la palabra del Señor aquí. Y lo veo en ellos dos. Y no me importa quiénes son. Se los digo de corazón. No me importa qué hacen. No me importa qué se dedican ni a qué se van a dedicar. Porque cuando la palabra del Señor se siembra, tú no esperas cómo va a crecer. Simplemente la siembras. Y deja que se dé. Deja que se dé. Y yo veo la palabra del Señor aquí. Y eso que comenzó en adversidad, tal vez para mi vida, en momentos de dificultad, de tristeza, que será otro momento para contarlos, lo veo en momentos de felicidad en ellos dos. Y con esa palabra que el Señor alguna vez me permitió vivir, en donde simplemente con decir sí, Él estaría conmigo siempre, yo les quiero decir eso a los dos. Dios es un Dios de compromiso. Y a través de Jesucristo encontramos el mejor compromiso. No hay otro más. O sea, tú puedes poner 
tu fe en tus capacidades, en lo que tienes en la cuenta, tal vez en tus experiencias, pero eso no basta y en algún momento tú lo vas a ver en tu vida. Uno puede caminar más rápido, pero dos van a caminar más lejos. Y yo, verdad, me siento muy orgulloso de que hubieran tomado, te lo dije hoy, y de que hubieran tomado esa decisión de casarse. El matrimonio hoy está echado a la basura. La gente no lo menosprecia, sabiendo que es una de las cosas, fue el primer espectáculo después de toda la creación que el Señor dijo, yo quiero un matrimonio. Y los bendijo a los dos. Y hizo todo lo que hizo para un matrimonio para bendecirnos, no importa que pierdan amigos, influencers o otros, otras redes sociales o otros streams, pero mientras que encuentres en Dios y en Jesucristo el soporte para su vida y su relación, no importa lo que pase, siempre va a estar ahí. Ahora, hablar de este momento es lindo, y quién no quiere hablar de momentos malos en momentos como este, ¿cierto? ¿Quién? Nadie, pero yo tengo que advertirles, y, y puede sonar muy eh, adverso a todo lo que han dicho, Van a haber momentos complicados, van a haber momentos de dificultad. Cuando yo me casé con mi esposa, eh, la persona que nos casó me dijo, bueno, ¿qué van a hacer cuando se van a separar? Yo les hago esa misma pregunta, ¿qué van a hacer cuando se separen? No, ok. Hay, hay un predicador sí. que se llama sí. Billy Graham sí. y eh, su esposa eh, le, le hacían la misma pregunta y ella decía, ¿divorcio o no muerte? Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque si, si desde ya están pensando en algún momento separarse, pues no, no lo hagan. No lo hagan, de verdad. Van a haber momentos en donde uno de los dos puede caer y ¿qué va a hacer? Sí. Donde van a fallar, donde se van a equivocar, donde van a tomar malas decisiones, donde la vida, porque no somos perfectos y así tengamos a nuestro Señor Jesucristo, vamos a tomar malas decisiones, porque es que es la vida. Ahora, ¿qué responsabilidad el uno del otro van a tener de levantar el uno al otro? Si es el uno el otro que cae. Entonces, si hoy se comprometen ustedes dos a estar en los momentos, como dicen, buenos, malos, allá esta señora que está allá, mira, ella, ella la está ahí. es mi esposa. Y yo, yo, yo no he encontrado una amiga o, o otra mejor compañera o otra mejor relación que ella. Se los digo, en la muerte, en la cárcel, en la enfermedad, en el sepulcro, en las buenas, en las malas, en la pobreza, en la riqueza. Y el Señor me la dio. Y gracias a ella, pues, yo creo que estoy aquí. De verdad se los digo. Entonces, yo creo que si ese compromiso está en sus corazones, pase lo que pase, mm. que venga lo que venga. Y con esa, con esa voluntad en, en sus corazones se unen hoy, pase lo que pase, siempre van a estar. Y van a venir hijos, van a venir prosperidad, van a venir momentos de alegría. Entonces, los bendigo en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Gracias. Y me alegra, me alegra ver este momento. De verdad que sí. Y quiero darles un abrazo. Bueno, al igual que el Mary, me siento ahí un poco eh, identificado por cosas del destino y porque tal vez Dios nos puso esa prueba a todos como familia de separarnos y, y estar lejos, lejos de, de dos niñas que, que amo con todo mi corazón, que desde que llegaron a este mundo siempre le pedí a Dios eh, que tuviera tiempo, que tuviera dinero, que tuviera visa para venir a verlas. Todo el tiempo las tenía en mi cabeza, en mi mente, no pude crecer junto a ella. Compartí muy poquito en la vida de Valentina cuando era bebé. Dios, Dios me permitió como despertar ese instinto de padre en ella. Y por eso para mí Valentina siempre ha sido mi bebé y todavía sigue siendo una bebé. Espero que Dios me dé muchos años para estar al lado tuyo, al lado tuyo también. Y siempre va a ser mi bebé. Siempre la voy a ver caminando entre mis manos, evitando que se golpee a donde estoy aquí evitando que te golpees. La vida tiene cosas lindas, hermosas, que nos hacen sentir tan seguros y también que a veces nos olvidamos que hay, que también la vida tiene esa parte difícil que, que no quiero utilizar la palabra decir malo, no quiero decir malo porque soy una persona muy positiva y yo siento que no, no hay cosas malas, ¿entiendes? También te lo digo a ti. Sé que ustedes son dos amigos, antes de, ser, antes de haber sido novios creo que se convirtieron en amigos y siempre he visto en ustedes dos una pareja y un grupo increíble. Ustedes la van a romper. Estoy seguro que la van a romper. La están rompiendo en este momento. En estos días hablaba la abuelita Ofelia que 
y hablaba tu mamá que, que vas a ser la primera de la generación de los nietos y de los sobrinos que se está casando. Estás dando un ejemplo increíble, estás trayendo bendición a nuestra casa, a nuestra familia, nos estás dando honor y tú también por haberla escogido a ella como esposa. Entonces aquí sigo, ahora también voy a evitar que te golpees, voy a evitar que para que estén bien, saben que pueden, tienen en mí todo lo que necesiten siempre, a pesar de estar lejos, siempre he querido estar ahí, no, no he podido estar, pero de corazón y en mi mente siempre han estado ahí, están en mis oraciones y Dios siempre ha contestado mis oraciones, siento que Él es muy fiel, es muy bueno y todo lo que yo le he pedido siempre me lo ha dado y entre esas cosas está en que tu hermanita y tú sean unas niñas piadosas, que respeten a sus padres, que quieran a su familia, a su abuelita. Y me siento muy orgulloso, mi amor. Me siento muy orgulloso de ver en la mujer que te has convertido. Ese cambio que has tenido en estos últimos años, para mí era algo que yo, yo sabía que iba a pasar, pero no esperaba que fuera tan rápido. Y, y, y veo que fue gracias a Jacob. Jacob trajo a tu vida una bendición enorme, él, él llegó iluminado, ¿me entiendes? Llegó a tu vida para cambiar una cantidad de cosas, tus inseguridades, esas cosas que no sabías que iban a pasar y ahora ya sabes, ahora ya tienes un camino, tienes una luz, es como él, si él fuera una estrella en tu camino que te estuviera dictando para dónde irte y eso yo se lo había pedido a Dios, él me escuchó y por eso sé que él es fiel y por eso sé que él siempre cumple todos los deseos de nuestro corazón. Me siento muy orgulloso, me siento muy feliz y agradecido por poder estar aquí compartiendo con ustedes dos. Y ya, creo que no tengo que... voy a guardarlo mejor para mañana. He's gonna say the best for tomorrow. Because that, that's... What? Yeah, he's not speaking tomorrow. He's just joking around. God is so faithful, man. We were just praying in this room because, you know, there was a moment of tension between us. We were arguing and I told, I told her, I was like, there was pride in me. There was anger in me. And I told her, I was like, no, nah, you know what? Come on, let's pray. We prayed and I told God, God, I've seen you do it before. And I stood on that promise. God did it. You know, I came out over here not wanting to, not wanting to step out of that room. But God told me, pray, leave it all to me and I got you in. I came out here, you guys all spoke life into me, into her, into our relationship, and once again, God was able to turn something evil, something dark, into good, and I just want to encourage you, if you're going through something, leave it to God, and you'll be in shock of how he just manages to turn stuff into good. Uh, <laughs> He said everything I wanted to say, <laughs> and I don't want to talk too much because we're going to talk tomorrow at the wedding, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here with us. You all, each and every single one of you, mean the world to me. This is something that I never saw coming, although I always dreamed of it as a little girl. Um, I went through a, lot, a hard time. I'm a living, breathing miracle, like Val said, and it's sometimes really hard for me to realize it, but if I would have done such a thing back then, I would have never met the love of my life and I wouldn't have a future. So I'm happy that I didn't do that. I'm so happy that God kept me safe and sound in his arms because I met the love of my life. I got closer to God and I couldn't be more grateful for this moment. I've been going through a lot mentally and I always imagine this being perfect and although I'm still going through a lot of anxiety, I always will always give the glory to God and be grateful no matter what I go through because I know that he'll bring me out of it one day. So I just, you know, going through the hard situations, I will always give him the glory. I will always be grateful and just joyful that God is good and that I'm here living and I'm a miracle and that I found the love of my life to spend the rest of my life with, to have kids with. And, and